Here are tips and tricks to manifest money. After you watch this video, you're going to have at least three ways, three approaches that you're going to learn to manifest money. Number one is, if you can do it, be very specific on the amount of money that you want to manifest. Now, a lot of you sometimes don't know what that amount is, or sometimes you put an amount, but you don't feel like you're going to achieve that amount. So if you are experiencing that when you're thinking about the amount of money that you want to manifest, like it doesn't feel very light or fresh or doable, then move on to the next step. Feel like you have the money already. Imagine that you have the money already and kind of like daydream in a state or go in a realm in your head, in your feelings, in your daydreaming that you already have the money. Now, once again, similar to the option, the other first option, if you don't feel like it or you don't know how to do it or you are struggling to feel that, like to feel like you have the money already, if you're kind of like, it just doesn't feel right and I'm not getting there, go to the next steps. The next step is thinking about what you're going to do with the money. That's easy enough, right? Are you going to buy things? Are you going to invest? Just start thinking about the things you're going to do with it once you have it. In the process of doing that, you're going to identify which things are like too far to reach or like it feels like so doable and Next thing you know, you're not thinking about anything else, but thinking of things that you're going to do with the money and that you're kind of like in there. That exercise alone allows you to feel like you have it already. So you achieve step number two, right? And then as you think about the things you want to buy or you want to do with the money, it achieves step number one because it gives you an idea of how much money you want. Now, if you're kind of like while you're daydreaming, you start going to areas where like, oh my God, it's not, that's impossible. You're starting to have that uh, kind of constrained or limited mindset. Go back to the things that you want to do with money that you feel like it's more doable and it's more kind of like close to where you are right now. But you're still kind of daydreaming that you have it and you still feel good. Bottom line, think about the things that you're going to do with the money that makes you feel good. Then you can go back to step one. I want this amount of money. Then you can go back to step two because you now kind of have an idea of how it would feel when you have the money because you started thinking about what you're going to do with it, what you're going to spend it on, spend it with. And then you start imagining yourself in that realm. You see, you see the process. So you can do step number one, step number two, step number three in order, or you can do step number three first, then you move your way back to step number two, step number one, or whichever way you can do mumbo jumbo of all these three steps. Now you know, happy manifesting.